get the uh, prong collar on him. I mean, it's not hard. He just gets so excited to go walk and right. You know, he doesn't really. Your wife mentioned a sit that he yeah, he, he needed a he good will sit, sit on him for a trait, but then once he's sat, that's it, and then he's ready to go. Your wife mentioned it didn't matter whether he was off-leash or not, and that's always to be determined as a dog moves through my program, right. whether they're able to be off-leash or not. Now, we walked successfully for several days because we live up in, you know, up in the mountains. Okay. And he walked fine, and he would listen to me and come back. I've even taken him on a trail run because uh -huh. I'm a runner, and he would run up ahead of me, but he would always come back. But once okay. he sees a squirrel or a deer, or whatever he thinks is interesting enough to run, then it's no more listening. He's gone. The day he's bored with us, I, mean, I walk him three to four miles a day. Yeah. This is my recovery days. You know, I don't run. Even I mean, no matter what, I walk him that distance. Sure. Just to sure. Him. When we were in search of a dog. We really didn't want anything big or young like this kind of sort of. But he just when they brought him out, it was instant. We both fell in love with him. 